Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to a new video and today we're gonna look at my eyeshadow project pen uh, for 2024, so for next year. I'm gonna film my project pen update for this year, but it's probably gonna be at the end of the year so that you have all the numbers and it's the most accurate, but for... Um, the next year I thought I could already film it. I'm gonna count the amount of uses for these palettes, uh, but I will start counting, counting it on the 1st of January, but I just wanted to show you the collection that I want to work with next year and kind of my reasonings. And there will be a second video and it's gonna be all face products and everything that's not eyeshadow uh, that will be in a different video. So this is only project pen for eyeshadows and hopefully you will enjoy it. If this is your first time here, hi, my name is Sasha. I love eyeshadows, I love indie makeup, especially I love colorful makeup. As you can see, uh, today I am using the Siren Sunset palette from Wonder and Beauty. This is my second look with the palette. By the time you're watching this, the review of this palette should already be up on my channel and I will link it down below in case you're interested. So that's for the intro. So uh, here's a list of palette that I want to get more uses out of in 2024 and like focus on them. Some of them I want to completely use up. Some of them I just want to hit pan on. Um, so yeah, some of them I just want to use some of the shades, so it's not gonna be a full on, like, these are the palettes that by the next, the end of the next year, they're gonna be completely used up. That's definitely not what this video is about. There are a couple of palettes that I want to completely use up, but uh, most of it is just for me to actually, to inspire myself to use them more and actually get some, uh, get some progress with them. So first I have this Little Cosmetics palette from uh of single shades and this is one of the examples of um the the option that i don't actually want to completely use them up i don't think that's even gonna happen but i want to hit pan on these uh shades i think with these two multicrums that's very doable because i use them all over the lid and i use them quite a bit this one we'll see this one it's gonna be a little bit harder because it is a inner corner highlight but i wanna i would be very happy if by the end of next year or by the end of 2024 there would be bands on all of them so i have these are all single shades this is sigil allure parsec and idol i'm gonna link everything down below if it's still available so uh, this one I just want to get more uses out of. I don't actually expect to completely use them up. But since I bought them and I think I've used them the this one maybe like 10 times, this one maybe like 6 times, this probably like 4 times, as well as this or maybe like 6 times, 9 times and maybe like 12 times, I'm not sure. But I've used them couple times they're not the most used but they're definitely not untouched either so that's that then i have two mini palettes one is the shall we make up liana eyeshadow palette this is how she looks like i already have one pan here in the multi-chrome shade and i would be very happy if i would hit pan on all of these by the end of 2024 here are the shifts so yeah, it's a small palette. I think you only have yeah one gram of product and three of these are shimmers. So shimmers usually are easier to hit pan on. So yeah, um, I think that would be nice because it's a small palette. I do usually travel with her because it has greens, it has this really fun multicrome and it has inner corner highlight. So I can just bring this and then some other palette that's maybe slightly bigger uh, and use it with it. So I really like this. And then I have the Uden's Eye Mini Eyeshadow Palette. This is the Earth Palette. I've had this for a year now. I've got it from a friend. It was either December a year ago or it was January of 2023. And 
and this shade nearly has a pen then this shade has quite a like dip in it so and it's a pastel shade so i'm probably gonna uh hit pen on this and then the shade nostalgia so they're also uh quite well used i think i've used this palette like 20 times now and again i just wanna i don't think i'm gonna be able to completely use them even though i was able to completely use up the mini forest palette and in a year and i don't think i had pen on her last year so i was able to do all that in a year and that one didn't have a full-on eyeshadow look like i couldn't do a full eyeshadow look worse with this one i can i usually use all the mattes and all the shimmers except this one for the whole look sometimes i do add this shade as well so most of the time i use either all of the shades or uh all except one so maybe i would be able to and these pens are really small i think this has six grams of product and it has six uh shades so again one gram of product maybe i would be able to completely use it because i really like these green it's kind of my go-to neutral well neutral for me neutral uh palette so we'll see either i'm gonna completely use it up or i'm gonna hit pen on this i definitely want to at least hit pen on all of these shades in 2024 um and like there's part of me that never wants to use up this palette because it's just a perfect travel palette and it's everything i could want it's literally my favorite look but it's also i don't know i never wear the same look every day so even if i would travel i would bring this but then i would bring any other palette that has different colors in it as well because i just i don't wear the same thing all the time and i don't travel that much uh, i sometimes in summer i would do like a couple days trip trips or sometimes like for christmas um fairs or something but i don't i don't actually travel all that much and when i'm at home i don't care how big the palette is so yeah i know this one isn't available anymore but yeah i want to use her i haven't actually i've used her a lot at, at the beginning of this year like in january february you could see me use it all the time and also like in like in the first couple of months i would com uh, i would touch her all the time now not so much but i think i'll get to her again because these color stories are kind of christmasy i mean greens are all year round shades right then i have the color pop and tinkerbell palette i bought this palette mainly because it's a magnetic palette so i can use it for a single shadows so when i would travel or just go anywhere i could just bring my single shadows and this is how she looks like uh two shades don't belong here this one this is the nomad cosmetics royal orb multi-chrome shade and this shade, this one is from the Legend of Korra palette. I just switched it because I thought it fits here more. As you can see, I already have one pen, which I didn't even anticipate it. I thought that I'm gonna pen it next year, but I actually was able to use, well, hit pen on this shade already. And I would like to extend the pens. So I think I'm gonna be able to use up this shade because it's my most used shade from this palette. So I'm definitely going to be able to use it up. I would want to hit pen on this shade. And I think the green will be easy as well. The matte one because it has dip. I don't know if you can... Maybe you can slightly see it. But it has quite a bit of dip. And the uh, Colourpop uh, palettes are quite shallow. I don't know if you will be... I don't think you can see it on this shade. But they're, the pens are very shallow. So yeah, I would just want to have more pens and maybe completely use up this shade so that i can put some of my like terra moons shades or mika beauty shop or any other single shadows so that's the tinkerbell and as i said for colourpop it's gonna be pretty easy um there's i don't know how much yeah they also put one gram of product in it and i find that their shimmers they go really fast because you 
I feel like I have to use a lot of them to actually get the metallicness that I want and the mattes since they are, are not as creamy and they're not dusty but you know it, it's not the regular um, creamy formula that most indie brands do nowadays they also tend to get used up quite quickly then palette that I will never completely use up and that I'll never get rid of is the Odin's Eye and Annette Oberstadt the Giant Wolves palette this is how she looks like she's really old I, I've only had it for the past year I've got her from a friend and I love her but since she's getting older and I know that my hummingbird palette went really bad and I had to actually um, get rid of her or like I, I don't have her in my makeup collection anymore because the shades just didn't work anymore they were too waxy and the shimmers lost all their pigment and they were kind of patchy I think these two are kind of patchy they, they definitely got worse so the shade Squall I think that's how we pronounce it and Hattie which is really shame because this one almost has that kind of like holochrome or like holo effect but yeah these two they're they're really dry and they're patchy but these do work fine and the multi-chrome works quite fine even though it i feel like uh, my lids get quite oily with this but i definitely want to get more uses out of the multi-chrome because it is the most beautiful shade it's kind of periwinkle blue to lavender purple to this really pinky shade with a green reflect in it as well so i want to get more uses out of the multi-chrome and maybe extend the pen and maybe if i could hit pen on th these two because i actually really love these shades um yeah and the mattes they're they're still okay i've tried a couple of them i've tried the blue mattes recently they were nice the greens i think are still okay at least last time i checked i haven't i know a couple weeks ago or maybe it's a couple months ago i used the shade ablaze and howling and those two gave me troubles and they were kind of waxy so i'm not gonna use it up but maybe if i could just get a little bit more uses out of her because i think next year will be the last year of me using this palette then i'm gonna have to remove it from my um makeup collection and it's gonna be only like a display product so that's just that then i have two returning uh palettes so i've had these palettes i've had them for a year now they were in my project pen for this year because i really like them uh, I have the Merry Christmas palette. I don't have my Excel, Excel spreadsheet with, like in front of me right now, but I think I've used this palette so far for like 56 times. So this is how she looks like after 56 uses. Uh, I've created multiple looks with her. I've um, I've been really mean to her kind of like i've been using her a lot um and i have pen here here you can't see it but there's itty bitty pen here itty bitty pen here this has giant like dip in it this one has quite a bit of a dip this one i think i'm gonna pen soon because i use it as a, a as an eyeliner i always spray some setting spray in it and use it as highlight uh, as eyeliner sorry Jingle Bell also a huge dip and matcha cookies is not far from getting a uh, pan as well so and maybe I'm gonna hit some pan before the year ends because it's what day is it I think it's fifth today um so before, because I, I'm kind of pre-filming so before the year ends I'm actually probably gonna have more pans here but so far but yeah maybe next year i could use it up well i'm i mainly use like these two rows and then this cor corner plus the black i pretty much never use the red the gold and this one i only use with this palette or with other palettes i don't use it in with this color sorry so yeah these and these 
I want to use up or at least <clears throat> I want to use up the greens this because I also use it as a highlighter and then get more uses out of these three and I'm probably going to be able to use up to black since it's an eyeliner for me and once that happens I'm going to throw her away or I'm going to get her out of my collection and it's just going to be a display piece so yeah this one I think that it's doable as I said, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna actually use her a lot this month, and I also have to remember to use the lighter shades as highlighters, because that's a cool way how to finish your palettes as well, and I want to finish her. And then another palette that is gonna be on my project pen that's returning is the Christmas Eve palette from Odin's Eye. So this one only has one pen so far but i think there's also a pen in this one it's kind of hard to tell because the the metal part is stained like the metal pen so i'm not completely sure but i think there's a pen this one is very close to pen this one is very close to pen and this one i think there was a pen and maybe now it's just slightly oh no i think you can actually see it there is like a edbd pen so there's possibly three pens and two coming sh shortly i use this as a highlighter so uh, like a face highlighter so i think that one will also be panned very quickly and yeah i just i want to use her a lot it's my one of my favorite color stories um i think she's still one of my favorite um winter palettes I'm actually gonna film my winter palette ranking tomorrow probably and I don't know which video will come sooner but this one definitely will be like quite high up so that's her love her and I think this one has this one has less uses than this one but I think this is kind of somewhere around 47 uses I will film my project pen 2023 update either the last of december or second to last so it's either gonna be 31st or 30th of december and i will share with you how much i've used these palettes in the year so and how many uses they have uh, at the end of the year so you will get the specific number later this month but she's she's coming <clears throat> Uh, she's gonna be in my next year's project pen as well and then i have the legend of cora from colourpop i bought her this year i think it was before uh before summer so i've switched up the shade balance there was like a neutrally brown shade that i gave to my sister and instead this shade is from the tinkerbell palette i don't remember which one of them but it's the one from Tinker tinkerbell and the shade that was here is in the tinkerbell palette and this is the theramon shade i want to use up this shade the rebel spirit i actually thought that it's gonna be on my project pen to hit the pen but as you can see there's quite a large pen this one is one of their like jelly squishy shades or i don't know how they call this formula but it's the squishy formula i don't use it on my eyes i only use it either in my inner corner if i really feel like it but i mostly use it on my cheeks because this one is kind of like it's too oily for me to use it on my eyes it will crease immediately so I use it on my cheeks and I want to use up this one because it also creases on me. I think I can use it as eyeliner, but I don't think I can use it in my, like on my lid. So I will try to use it up as a metallic eyeliner because I think that's actually a kind of cool idea. I don't know how well it's gonna work for me, but yeah, I wanna, I'm either gonna use it up or I'm just gonna throw it away at the end of the year because this one doesn't really have a lot of purpose for me because it creases on the lid and i can only use it in the absolute outer half of the lid where i don't really have that many folds and it doesn't you can't see the creasing but yeah uh these two i would want to get rid of and then i would be very happy if i could hit pan on any of these shades 
probably either the blues or the greens because maybe even the yellow i use the yellow quite a lot every time i feel like using a yellow i actually well not every time but most times that i felt like using a yellow i either use this shade or i use the yellow uh from the christmas eve palette i've actually worn the yellows yesterday so yeah i just want to get some more uses out of her and remove these two shades and put put there something that i would be more happy about so i only have two palettes that i want to completely use up i don't know if i'm going to be able to completely use them up because again there's a lot of product left but um I know that these definitely will get used up eventually if it's not going to be next year then it's going to be the year after that but i just i can realistically see myself actually using these up because it's a formula and color story that i do actually really like and then i probably would be able to use up this palette but we'll see and hit fan on this one the rest is just mainly to use it more and that's that's kind of it so let me know what products you've so let me know what products you've uh you wanna use up or hit pen on next year let me know if you have any of these palettes as i mentioned in the intro or at least i hope that i mentioned it in the intro i will be posting my project pen for all the other products in my collection that aren't eyeshadows so that is coming soon ish i don't know when exactly am i gonna post it i haven't filmed it yet but uh, that will also come and yeah let me know if you even participate in project pens uh i think it's a really nice way to get yourself to use the products that you have and i would highly recommend it it's not it's not necessarily like a bible or like a rule you know that you have to abide or um, that you have to follow it's just to bring yourself to use these products more i'm gonna try to put them on some kind of display and not in my not next to my regular collection so that i can actually see these pads and every single time i'm gonna um think think about a look I can kind of search through my project pen palettes and see if maybe the shadows that I want to use are here and if they are I can use these palettes instead of other palettes that's kind of how I work so if I know I want to use multi-chrome that's kind of green to purple instead of using some uh, random palette I can uh, I can go for this shade that I know I want to pen or something like that you know so that's the way that I use these palettes and uh, that's the way I use the project pen. But I would definitely want to hear your thoughts about this project and the, the palettes that I've picked. And I hope you have a great day. I hope you're enjoying your makeup collection and I'll be very happy to see you in my next video, which will hopefully be tomorrow. So bye!